So if you have a Munio and you're ready to use it, but during the attack, for some reason, you're not necessarily able to wind up and you know slash whip with the keys or strike into them with the point. You just don't have that range or that mobility at, at the moment. You can just as well attack the entire area of the face where the whole head is really vulnerable. So you're not using a big ballistic movement as much as you are, you know, pressing the tip into some place on the head. Maybe we're in a close quarter thing like this and pressing in and away. So virtually, you know, we're talking about a movement there, a change. Yeah, go ahead. So we're just gonna fire up my face here and put a little bunch of little dents into it and see what happens. Really, go ahead. So that hurts. Actually, a little more practice. Yep, that hurts. Go ahead. That hurts, that hurts very good. Do more, go ahead, I'm serious, I'm being serious. It's so you don't have to aim. Go ahead, more, more. Just, so this, the vulnerability is really there. I'll have a little dense later, but you know, you can literally strike all of these areas anywhere. And that's of course staying out of the more grotesque area of like putting this into the eye. Um, it all really hurts. It is all a really good option to create a hell of a lot of pain and help you to be able to escape. So don't underestimate that. And by the way, we're talking about just the area here of the face. We moved a little bit over to the side. We talked about the top of the head before. Moving this uh, just one little bit off of the top of the head to the side of the head, moving into the back of the head, all of this just as vulnerable, just as effective. So keep that in mind, it's awesome.